I've been in some wild places over the years. The bushlands of Africa, the cloud forests of Indonesia, the outback of Australia, but I think today will be my wildest adventure in the workplace. Let's go. Crikey, what's that I hear? I think I'm on that lifter. Come on, follow me. Oh, sensational, I found it. Look at that lift. First of all, the shoes, the footwear, not appropriate. She's got bad contact with the floor. Then the box, it's just too long. It's too far away from the center. Look how much trouble she's having. Oh, crikey. That's unfortunate. And those L5, S1 strings. Oh, she's set up for a WSIB claim, I'll tell you. God, we gotta find a better lifter. Let's go. Ooh, what a beauty. Come here. Look at that. He's got good grips on the box. What a perfect example of a lift. He's turned the long box sideways so that he can get it closer to his body and low, decrease the compressive forces on his spine. What else he could do is maybe get an assistive device or maybe even a friend to help him out. But this is not his first season lifting. He's been through a few and he's a prime lifter. Let's go find some other ones. Before you lift, remember to plan your route. Is the path clear? Are tripping or slipping hazards removed? Next, assess the load. Is it too heavy or awkward? Maybe a hand truck or forklift is better. Or maybe it could be slid. Lastly, remember to wear clothing that doesn't limit movement and wear good shoes for safe lifting. Oh wow, have a go at this. It's lifting season and everyone's out lifting. Let's go take a look. Oh wow, would you look at that. What a beauty. Just a juvenile too. Look how she's lifted now. A lot of back, no lot of knees. No bend, a lot of stress across the back. It's like she hasn't been trained in the workplace. It's like she's been neglected by her mother. Let's go see if we can find someone doing it correctly. Crikey, would you look over there? A perfect lift in the workplace. I can just feel it. She's been filling that boxes for nine months, all by herself. Now look at that. The bent knees, the straight back. God, it's beautiful. Let's just leave her alone with what she's worked so hard on. Come on. When you lift, lift it right, move it right, and lower it right. Keep your body close to the object and your back straight. Don't twist your back, and when you put the load down, bend at the knees, not your waist. Oh, crikey, would you look at that? That's a poor lift. Let's go take a closer look. It looks like this one's been improperly trained. He barely can lift it up off the ground. It's like he doesn't believe in NIOSH. Everyone needs NIOSH to survive in the workplace. I don't usually like to intervene, but I think in this case I need to take her under my wing. First, I need to get her to accept her as one of my own, as someone to help her in the workplace. The maternal instincts are strong, so I've got to stay away from the desk or she'll report me to the white hats. She doesn't appreciate someone with no dirt under the fingernails or no experience in the workplace like her. Now that it appears to trust me and I have asserted my dominance, we can now perform an appropriate lift for this heavy box. With something this heavy, we would need to perform a two-person lift. With a two-person lift, there needs to be one person in charge, they got to be about the same height, and they got to grab it properly. So for here, I will take her under my wing and show her how to do a two-person lift. So now, keep your knees bent, your back straight, grab it, and on three, we will lift it. Ready? One, two, three. Perfect. Get help if you need it. Work together, don't be a hero, and communicate with your partner. 
I think that about wraps it up for today. We've seen some good lifts, we've seen some bad lifts, and we've even made some changes. It's been a great day out in the wild, but now it's time for me to go grab some taka. Next time on the Crocodile Hunter, patient transfers. Crikey, that's a bad transfer. Danger, danger, danger.